Now to the photo editing scandal, which has led to Kensington Palace losing its trusted source rating on image agency AP. Fox News reports Kensington Palace is absolutely not a trusted source anymore following Princess Kate Middleton's edited Instagram photo, according to a leading photo agency. Let's bring the panel back in. Now, Darren, this story has had so many twists mm. and turns that it is actually quite hard to keep up. Um, I feel quite sorry for Kate with, the, with well. the attention she's got. I yeah. think that Kensington Palace hasn't done enough to defend her. But I guess from a media show perspective, it's interesting that these agencies now are saying we have to be sceptical of what the palace gives us because we are syndicating these photos to so many people that we need to be able to say with certainty she actually was there, this is a legitimate photo. Mm. And so there have been some quite structural failings that are more serious than I guess the, the average person would think. Yeah, I mean, famously, Queen Elizabeth, um, the late Queen Elizabeth II said that um, the royal family has to be seen to be believed. And, and I think that what we have now is a situation where the, the public don't believe what they're, they're actually seeing. Um, a, a photo should tell the truth. Um, but it is also true that agencies allow a small degree of modification to clean up a, mm. a photo. But obviously, these alterations were, were quite, quite major. I feel sorry for Kate in a way. Um, and the other thing that should be pointed out is that there's actually she's, there's a long history of uh, the royal family putting out images and portraits and things like that that have been um, modified and, and altered. Like uh, the Queen Mother famously said to um, the royal photographer Cecil Beaton, um, "Stop making me look younger. No one's going to believe <laughs> what, they're, what they're seeing." Um, and, and one of the royal photographers came out this week in the Times of London and said that um, in some photos from an event that I think it was a wedding, um, he'd actually photoshopped the head of Prince William on, onto a photo Incredible. because he was unhappy in that photo. But in all the other scenes at the event, he, look, he looked happy. Um, look, it's, it's the right decision to, um, to withdraw the photo from circulation. But the, the photo agency should always, should always be doing that. They should never be just assuming that what they're sent by the royal How didn't they realise? You know, yeah. that it just took the internet sleuths, Kel. Yeah. And I, I guess to, to Darren's point about how there have been some historical... Uh, issues with alterations and everything. Is it just now that we're in the digital age that we are catching some of it? Is it because now that we've got the technology, we can zoom in? Do you think it's been happening for longer? Oh, absolutely. Uh, look, can I say, when I look at this story, I'm reminded of a, a catchphrase that Jack Benny, the American comedian, used to use often. He used to say, there will now be a short pause while everyone says... Who cares? <laughs> it, it's, it, is, it, it doesn't matter. It really, really doesn't matter. Uh, Frank Hurley was an official war photographer in the First World War. Uh, at one stage, the army was getting upset with him because he used to put in better skies. He, he'd find a cloud fo photograph from somewhere else and put it in behind the, the picture of the tree. It's been happening forever. It's what photography is all about. It doesn't matter. OK, move on. That's still with. Well said. Kel, Darren, thank you so much for joining me.